Hey there, movie buffs and fellow nostalgia seekers. Do you remember those days when you curled up on the couch, popcorn in hand, and tuned in to watch a cinematic masterpiece unfold on your television screen? If you do, I've got a question that might just take you on a trip down memory lane. Have you ever watched the 1975 gem, Three Days of the Condor? Ah, oh, those were the days, weren't they? There's something enchanting about recalling the flickering glow of the screen the suspense that had us on the edge of our seats, and the characters that we couldn't help but fall in love with. So, let's dive into the treasure chest of memories. What were your favorite moments from this Cold War thriller? Did you have a soft spot for Robert Redford's portrayal of the bookish and unexpectedly heroic Joe Turner? Or maybe you were captivated by Faye Dunaway's magnetic presence? What were the scenes that left you breathless or the twists that had you guessing until the very end? Let's take a moment to reminisce about the magic of three days of the condor, the palpable tension, the brilliant storytelling, and the era it transported us to. Feel free to share your stories and experiences in the comments below, and let's relive those days together. Now, as we stroll down memory lane, let me share some fascinating random facts about this cinematic treasure. Did you know that the film's original title was Six Days of the Condor, but it was shortened to three? Quite a mystery, right? Or how about the fact that the Central Intelligence Agency had a real-life consultant on the set to ensure that the spy tactics were portrayed accurately? Intriguing, isn't it? So, grab your coffee, just like Joe Turner would, and let's embark on this journey into the heart of a Cold War thriller. And, when you're ready, I've got even more intriguing tidbits and insights about this classic waiting for you. Stay tuned for the magic of Three Days of the Condor. In the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor, an interesting tidbit reveals that the film was shot during autumn, yet it was set in the wintertime. To achieve this wintry look, the streets where the movie was being filmed required some adjustments. Saplings had to be defoliated, and leaves were removed from the trees. Notably, Robert Redford, who starred in the film and was known for his environmental advocacy, personally supervised the process to ensure no harm was done to the plant life. This attention to detail in creating the wintry atmosphere speaks to Redford's commitment to the film's authenticity and his concern for the environment. Despite being shot in a different season, the movie successfully captured the cold and bleak atmosphere that is an integral part of its suspenseful narrative. This dedication to both the craft of filmmaking and the preservation of nature showcases the conscientious efforts made during the production of Three Days of the Condor. The 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor is a classic in the political thriller genre, starring Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway. While Faye Dunaway may have initially found the idea of being kidnapped and ravaged by Robert Redford less frightening, a behind-the-scenes incident left her genuinely terrified. During a scene when Redford was temporarily offset, director Sidney Pollack stepped in to act opposite Dunaway. As the cameras rolled, Pollack, in character, advanced menacingly towards her, detailing disturbing threats. Dunaway, tied up for the scene, was unable to escape, and Pollack's intense performance left her genuinely scared. The camera kept rolling, capturing a genuinely frightened reaction from Dunaway, demonstrating Pollack's skills as both a director and an actor. Furthermore, the film features an interesting real-world connection. In the movie, Higgins' CIA office is located at the World Trade Center. In reality, the CIA maintained a covert station at Seven World Trade Center, which became public knowledge after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. This station was disguised behind the facade of another government organization and served as a base for espionage on foreign diplomats at the United Nations building. It also functioned as a debriefing site for American business executives returning from overseas trips. The station was destroyed during the 9-11 attack, and a specialized team of CIA agents handled the cleanup to recover sensitive materials that might have survived the building's destruction. Lastly, it's noteworthy that nearly all the leading actors in Three Days of the Condor have received Oscars for their performances in other films. Robert Redford won an Oscar for Ordinary People, Faye Dunaway for Network, Cliff Robertson for Charlie, and John Houseman for The Paper Chase. Redford's awards include not only acting, but also directing, and an honorary award. The only exception is Max von Sydow, who, despite being nominated twice, did not win an Oscar for his acting roles. 
However, he won the Best Supporting Actor Award from the Kansas City Film Critics for his performance in Three Days of the Condor. In conclusion, Three Days of the Condor is not only a gripping thriller, but also a film with intriguing behind-the-scenes anecdotes and real-world connections. Its cast, despite their significant talents, had different paths to Oscar recognition. The movie's blend of suspense and real-life elements continues to make it a compelling watch for audiences. The Making of Three Days of the Condor, a spy thriller's real-world impact in the fall of 1974. The classic espionage thriller Three Days of the Condor came to life on the streets of New York City. Directed by Sidney Pollack and starring Robert Redford, this film would go on to influence the world of intelligence agencies in ways unexpected. James Grady, in the anniversary edition of his book Six Days of the Condor, reveals a fascinating tidbit about the movie's impact. The plot, involving a low-profile CIA office dedicated to reading books for hidden messages, sparked the interest of real-world spies. First, the KGB assumed that the United States already had such research offices, and then, when they realized it worked, the CIA decided to give it a shot as well. This cinematic fantasy became a real-world inspiration for espionage operations. While the movie's influence on intelligence agencies is intriguing, some locations from the film have remained unchanged. A Lexington candy shop, where Redford's character Turner went to pick up lunch for the office, still stands at 1226 Lexington Avenue, between 82nd and 83rd Streets. It's a testament to the enduring charm of this classic movie. Three Days of the Condor may be a product of the 1970s, but its impact reverberated through the corridors of espionage for years to come. Whether it's inspiring real-world intelligence agencies or preserving a little piece of New York City, this spy thriller remains a significant part of film history. The evolution of Three Days of the Condor, Sidney Pollack takes the helm in the making of the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor. A significant shift occurred when it came to the director. Originally, Peter Yates was signed on to direct the film, with Dino De Laurentiis planning for Warren Beatty to star in the lead role. However, things took a turn when Robert Redford was brought into the picture. Redford, who was set to play the protagonist, preferred to work with Sidney Pollack as the director. As a result, Dino De Laurentiis made a notable decision. He paid Peter Yates his full $200,000 salary not to helm the movie. It's worth noting that Yates had previously directed Redford in The Hot Rock in 1972, which might have influenced Redford's choice. This shift in the director's chair had a substantial impact on the film's final outcome. Under Sidney Pollack's direction, Three Days of the Condor became a gripping and well-received thriller that has stood the test of time. The movie, based on James Grady's novel Six Days of the Condor, tells the story of a CIA researcher, Joe Turner, who finds himself on the run from his own agency after stumbling upon a dark conspiracy. Sidney Pollack's direction, combined with Robert Redford's strong performance, contributed to the film's critical and commercial success. The film remains a classic in the thriller genre and is known for its suspenseful plot, memorable characters, and thought-provoking themes. In conclusion, the decision to bring in Sidney Pollack as the director of Three Days of the Condor was a pivotal moment in the film's production. It ultimately shaped the movie into the iconic thriller we know today, with Robert Redford at the helm of a gripping narrative. This change exemplifies the intricate decision-making process that goes into the creation of a memorable film. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the enigmatic world of Three Days of the Condor, I encourage you to let the echoes of this timeless masterpiece resonate within your mind. This 1975 thriller has gifted us with indelible moments of suspense, betrayal, and intrigue, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of film history. Perhaps it's the brilliant portrayal of Robert Redford, the undercurrents of political conspiracy, or the tension-fueled cat and mouse chase that has captured your imagination. This is a film that, despite its age, remains eerily relevant, prompting us to question the very nature of power, secrecy, and the sacrifices made in the name of national security. So, what's your story? Have you ever found yourself in a labyrinth of secrets, much like our protagonist, Joseph Turner? Or have you marveled at the way this film unveils the shades of gray in a world often perceived in black? and white. We invite you to share your cherished memories, profound reflections, or even your own interpretations of Three Days of the Condor. 
In doing so, you become a part of the enduring legacy of this cinematic gem, joining a community of fellow enthusiasts who appreciate the depth and brilliance of this classic. After all, it's through our collective discussions and shared insights that we can keep the spirit of this film alive for generations to come. Thank you for your time and interest in exploring the captivating world of Three Days of the Condor with us. Your unique perspective adds to the rich tapestry of film appreciation. Until we meet again in another cinematic adventure, keep the magic of storytelling alive. Remember, this outro was crafted with passion, just for you.